Hello guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel VBA video, we are going to continue our discussion which we started in the previous video. Uh, the discussion was about the variables. In the previous video, we saw that how can we uh, actually uh, use the variables or basically what is the usage of variables and how can we perform some of the operations over the variables. Okay. So in today's video, I'm going to continue our discussion on the variables. The reason why we are focusing so much on this because variables are used extensively everywhere in any programming uh, language. And this time we are having VBA, which is going to extensively use variables as well in the upcoming lessons. So it is better to have a clear understanding of the concept. So let's start with our video. Uh, if we try to look at a brief overview of the variables that we are going to discuss in this video, we are going to see that how can we just access uh, the different uh, types of variables. Actually, what is the different types of variables? How can we give the different types of data to a same variable? How can we declare variables in VB and many more? So let's uh, start with our discussion. On your screen, you could have see and uh, on the left side, we have our Excel and on the right side, we have our VBA editor. So first of all, in the VBA editor, go to the insert menu and insert a new module. Let's name it as variable types. So this is our new macro that's variable types. And let's create a sub procedure over here using the keyword sub and write like variables types or whatever name that you want. Then open and close the parenthesis and VB automatically recognizes this as a macro. Now, what we are going to do is uh, we have created a new sheet with the name of sheet 2. In sheet 2, we are going to perform some actions using the variables. Okay. So in the previous video, we know that uh, to use a variable in a visual basic, what we did was simply uh, use a variable name and assigned it some value using the equal sign. Okay. And then we started to use it. So let's see that suppose we declare a variable with the name V and then we assign some value to it. We want to assign a string value to it. So we assign like hello word to it. So now uh, variable V is holding a string value. And now we want to just show this string value. We want to print this string value onto a cell. Say A3 is where we want to print this string value. So simply we can write a3 in square brackets and uh, put an equal sign and put the value of v. Now, if we try to run this piece of code using the f8 function, let's see what happens is after this first line, now v is holding the value of hello world. And when we execute this, then you can see that in a3, the value of v, which was hello world is now stored. Okay. So that's how it works. Actually, uh, yes. But after some time, after executing this statement, I realized that I want to perform some other action. Like I want to store some numerical value, but I want to use the same variable that is V. So in VB, it is possible that you can assign the numerical value to some variable that was previously holding some other values. Okay. Which means that now to the variable V, you can access or, or you can assign a numerical value instead of a string value. You want to see that example. So let's just type V again, put an equal sign. And this time I'm going to assign a numerical value to it, say 80. After this, what I do is um, I want to uh, just show this value somewhere. Suppose I use a cell A4 to show this numerical value right now, which is nothing but the value of V, which is now holding 80. So let's see that what happens if we are able to execute this piece of code or not. So first of all, hello world, that's simple and that's uh, shown. You can see no change because it's already been shown over there. So next we have v equals to 80. Now the error must have occurred in this statement, but you can see that there is no error, which means that this statement is perfectly fine with regard to visual basic. Okay, now v is holding a numerical value. So the data type of the variable V is now an integer. And if we try to execute this last line, that is a4 equals V, you can see in the cell a4, we have got the value as 80, which means that um, it is perfectly fine with visual basic that once a variable is declared with a particular data type, 
then you can reassign it to any data type that you want okay so this was a single example let's see another example after assigning it to the integer if i want to assign a boolean value to v so uh, in v i want to assign a boolean value as false in visual basic you have a data type known as boolean which can hold two values either true or false so i want to assign false to it okay so false is now assigned let's see what happens when we try to just uh, use that value we try to access that value by providing a5 equals v so that's a perfectly valid statement and let's see if this throws an error or not so you can see first statement second statement third statement fourth statement now fifth statement is the new one it doesn't throws an error sixth statement is a new one it doesn't throws an error and you can see that in the cell a5 on the left side of your screen we have got the value as false so that is a very important thing that you must know that um, in order to uh, reassign a variable with any of the data types in visual basic you do not need to do any efforts only you need to simply assign that value to a variable okay so that was an important feature that you needed to know so um right now what we have done is simply we use the variable that is we initialize the variable in the first statement and we started using it we have not declared the variable so what if you want to declare a variable in visual basic then what do you need to do so to declare a variable in visual basic you need to just use a simple keyword that is known as dim 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 you just write dim and put a space and as soon as you put a space you must have noticed that the color of this dim has changed okay uh, the reason why it's changed because it is a keyword that is recognized by visual basic and um, uh, so its color is changed so identify that thing as you can see in false its color is changed in end sub its color is changed in sub its color is changed because these all are keywords okay which are reserved which have a predefined meaning to the visual basic so you write just a statement dim then you put a space and write the name of the variable here i want to declare a variable named as v uh, suppose you want to declare multiple variables this is a single variable if you just try to run this code and let's just change the uh, cell numbers to like b so that b3 b4 and here we want b5 okay so let's execute this piece of code and you can see everything is happening over here in the column b so this means that uh, once you declare a variable and you have not provided any particular data type then you can just uh, toggle between the different data types of a particular variable that's perfectly possible with visual basic so that is a single variable what if you want to declare multiple variables there are uh, instances where you want to declare multiple variables you do not want to declare a single variable you want to declare multiple variables so that's also possible all you need to do is after declaring a single variable you need to put a comma and then you can just declare or add the other variable suppose the second variable i want to add is a now you can just see that as soon as you press enter key or you try to move to the next line what happens is visual basic automatically start uh, adds a space after the comma to make sure that this is the convention that's followed okay now if you try to run this code then you can see nothing happens actually we already had that code so uh, the variable a is declared but it is not used anywhere but visual basic does not gives us any kind of error on this purpose okay uh, also we can just use any undeclared variable suppose if we just like write a uh, but we do not write v which means we have declared only a we have not declared v as a variable but we are using this variable v so if we try to run this piece of code with uh, right now i'm going to use c column c3 c4 and c5 instead of b3 b4 and b5 then also you can see if i try to run this code then you can see it's running perfectly fine which means that visual basic is not handling this intelligently it is not checking that whether a variable is declared before usage or not it is just uh, using that variable without any regard but this is not the correct thing uh, as a programming no uh, language it must be checked that whether a variable that is being used is previously declared or not or if there is some kind of a variable declared then it must be used so this is what 
is a, a drawback right now but luckily in visual basic we have a method through which we can draw um, out this drawback so this method is very simple uh, but uh, basically we are going to discuss about this method uh, in detail in the next video that is all for today's video in today's video we learned about uh, how can we assign the different values to a variable and how can we declare a variable in visual basic so that's all